أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My brothers and sisters My brothers and sisters are very important reminder I like to give for everyone out there There's a lot of brothers and sisters out there that are very distort, are very upset, are very depressed and it's getting to the point where they feel like there's no hope and my brothers and sisters there's a lot of people out there that are actually suffering from mental illness and going through situations like this lockdown is making it worse now my brothers and sisters I've been through a lot in life a lot of people out there listening watching this video has been through a lot in life and what I found through all my experiences I might not be experienced as a lot of people out there but there's one thing I can tell you in this reminder even a non-Muslim will agree with me even a person that is not an emir with my religion does not believe in my beliefs he will agree with me no matter what you're going through whether you're by yourself alone mental illness money no money no matter what situation you're going through divorced you can't see your kids you've lost your finances you lost your job someone in your family is sick no matter what you're going through it is Allah alone your creator that's going to get you through it and when you turn to Allah when you cry to Allah when you ask your creator for help you will feel comfort and relief that no amount of money can give you no amount of alcohol can satisfy you no amount of drug can make you feel any better because my brothers and sisters there is every everyone out there has been in a situation where they have cried to their creator and they have seen miracles they have cried to their creator and they're going through the biggest problems in life and they feel instant relief and comfort and they've seen miracles they've come out on top who is Allah my brothers and sisters who is Allah at this point where we're worrying this is what shaitan does this is what shaitan wants he wants us to worry he wants us to fear he wants us to think about the future what are we going to do because when you worry when you fear you lose hope when you lose hope then all is gone my brothers and sisters you destroy yourself shaitan is destroying us mentally so my brothers and sisters my best advice is to you is remember your creator turn to him pray to him when is the last time you put your head onto the floor and you spoke to allah sincerely not when you only when only when you wanted something not when you asked him for money or asked him for that car payment or asked him for that house or asked him for children sincerely when is the last time you put your head onto the floor and you spoke to your creator because my brothers and sisters i promise you and i'm a nobody but i dare you to try i challenge you to try speak to Allah speak to your creator and you will by his will have relief you will he will give you sabr he will give you contentment that no amount of money no amount of alcohol no drug in the world can give you because this is the promise of Allah Azza wa Jal. this is the promise of your creator and who is your creator he owns the kingdom of the heaven and the earth we you hear you meet and it is him that gives life and gives death and today we're putting our worry we're putting our we're thinking in the future what we're going to do due to a me creation that goes on tv and tells us you can only do this you can only do that we fear the creation but not the creator and i've been guilty of this because there's been times when shaitan has whispered in my ears and made me think what am i going to do tomorrow when as soon as I put my head onto the floor and I ask Allah, I cry to Allah, I'm not ashamed of it because He's my creator. And I am Abdullah, the servant of Allah. I've named my son Abdullah due to the fact that it is the best names of Allah. It means servant of Allah. I am Abdullah and I have no, no, I'm embarrassed to say this. I have cried to him and he has given me instant relief in every situation I've been in. And I've been in a lot of situations. I've been in situations where I thought, there is no way I'm out of this. 
on her brothers sitting in jail and you have other people that are doing beer and doing drugs and the reason why they're doing that is because they're depressed because they hate their life they hate their current situation and there are brothers in jail where they thought they were going to spend the rest of their lives in jail but as soon as they put their heads onto the floor as soon as they surrendered to Allah Allah showed them a miracle Allah has taken them out of these situations Allah has given them a second chance there are people sitting in hospital sick with an illness and you have someone, a doctor with a status respected in the community tell you this person is going to die there is non-Muslims out there that can't disagree with me when Allah has taken this person and given him shafa, given him good health my brothers and sisters do not forget who your creator is he is the owner of the heaven and the earth he is our creator Nothing happens only by His permission and only by His will. So when we're going through these hard times, we have to come closer to Him. We have to be optimistic. Come closer to Allah. No one in this dunya, no matter who it is, no matter how much money they have, no matter how much power they have, no one can come close to Allah. No one can fix your problem but Allah. But you need to turn to Him and you need to stop fearing the people in this dunya. You got to stop listening to shaitan. He wants you to be scared. He wants you to be in fear. He wants you to worry. Allah says, turn to me. Ask me. I'll fix everything. Trust me. I will fix everything for you. Who am I going to put my reliance on, my brothers and sisters? Who am I going to rely on? Am I going to rely on the creation of Allah? Am I going to rely on a date for my freedom? Or do I rely on the creator? I put my trust, I put my tawakkul, I put my reliance on my creator. I have never, ever, ever turned to Allah sincerely and been patient and He's let me down. Prophets in the Quran have never, ever in history, have you seen a prophet turn to Allah, put his reliance on Allah, go through the biggest dramas in history and it's noted in the Quran, it's even in the Bible, and they didn't come out victorious on top. My brothers and sisters, turn to Allah. Don't let shaitan play with your head. He wants you to stress. He wants you to worry. He wants you to fear. Turn to your Creator, my brothers and sisters. And Allah will give you relief. He will give you contentment. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to guide us all to the straight path. To take away this fear that we have in our hearts. To strengthen our Iman. To forgive us all. And to get us through all this hardship. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.